So last week, I went to New Jersey slash New York, and it was... <laughs> awesome. We hit downtown Monday, but before we did, we went to this thrift store with boxes upon boxes of clothes. I didn't get anything because I had only brought a backpack, but it was awesome. Freaking awesome. I only wish Madison had a place like that. Well, turns out, it does. Kinda. So this place is owned by my favorite local thrift store, St. Vincent de Paul, which means it's either a great find or it's where they put all the clothes they can't sell at the other stores. Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven flannels for six dollars. It was not the same as the thrift store in New Jersey. There were bins upon bins of clothing, but it was not organized. Like there weren't like 80s skirts in this bin and then velvet jackets over here and army pants over there. Um, it's kind of just like a crap ton of clothing. <laughs> I'm a germaphobe, so at first I was just like, but at some point you need to either go home or start freaking tossing cloth. <laughs> So I rolled up my sleeves and got busy. So I discovered something super nift in Madison. The other day on Instagram, it's called August. It's called August and it's a clothing store. It's got really cool streetwear vibes. And as far as I know, it's kind of the first of its kind in this city. I also discovered that there's a group of UW students uh, that have made up this group called UW Threads. Uh, they're basically fashion designers, and there is a Threads fashion show on April 29th. But today, in August, the shop, there is a fashion show preview at 3. It is 2.30. We have half hour to get downtown and see what this is all about. I figure it's a great way to get involved in the local scene. I'm excited to see what's going on. <laughs> That was cool. Let's see how the flannels are doing. Oh, that's sick. It's salmon. Salmon and a little bit of, mostly salmon. Yeah. Ooh, that's so pretty. Orange. Huh. Turned out, but they turned out better than I thought. Initially, when you bleach them, they all just look kind of like funky. And then hours later, you're like.
I do not usually spend $45 on a t-shirt. It's nice to be poppin', but it's poppin' to be nice. But when there is a local store, a local brand, a local brand that supports local designers, local DJs, that is all I have. That is not a bad place to put your money.